So I had to go, I had to go back to South Carolina to see the judge. Mm -hmm. I'm in Nebraska. Mm -hmm. That's on the other side of the fucking country. You know how long it takes to ship a federal inmate from Nebraska? Mm. Not good. To fucking to, to South Carolina? Days. They don't put you on American Airlines and fly you a direct flight. I'll tell you that much right fucking now. Yeah, they go. don't do that. They don't they, do Con Air. This little they do Con Air, but they hop, skip, and jump you to a... Uh, Ten different fucking little shithole county jails or wherever, you know, Damn. who has the contract to hold federal inmates at that time. You know, so that I'm Sorry. bouncing around. Yeah, so I go from, shh, dude, I'm trying to remember now. I went from Nebraska to so we're, the small town I was in. I sat there for like a week, and then I went to Omaha, Nebraska, which is the big city. It's the town. It's the big town in, in, in Nebraska, which is they handle all the, like the big cases. I sat in Omaha for a month, maybe two weeks. I think two weeks until they transferred me from Omaha. I went to what's the federal uh, prison in Oklahoma city. No, no, right next to Nebraska. It's in, um, Indiana. Oh, it, uh, um, right, Leavenworth, Leavenworth, Leavenworth. Yeah. So they, they transferred me from Oklahoma to Leavenworth. So sad that I know this. To, well, yeah. 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 So Mets in a, a, a federal prison encyclopedia. <laughs> yeah. I, whenever you need information. <laughs> Um, so yeah, I, so then I go to, I go to Leavenworth. I'm in Leavenworth for a couple of weeks, maybe a month from Leavenworth. They put me on Con Air and they fly me out to Oklahoma and I sit in Oklahoma in the, in the federal prison out there for like a month. And when, okay, mind you, when they're transferring you around, you don't get into general population. You're in holding, mm. you're in holding for a month. That means no commissary. That means the little tiny toothbrush with the little tiny toothpaste that doesn't fucking work. You know what I mean? So your your breath's always hot. You know what I mean? You get the little tiny deodorant because I can't buy deodorant. So you get right. the little tiny deodorant that's right. <laughs> one, one thing and it comes out and it fucking pops and hits the floor and jumps. You know what I mean? The one razor that just basically just cuts you and cuts you and cuts I mean, you. Just razor. Little yeah, I didn't even get razors. You yeah, yeah. yeah well, you, you, gotta, like, yeah. you can request. A, they'll give it to you. You shave. They give it. You give it back. They watch you use it. Yeah. Oh, you take the razor out and use a knife. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. You yeah. can you, you can pop out the razor blade. Yeah. Now you got a razor. You can oh, fucking okay. put it on the end of. Got it. it. Yeah, I mean, yeah, it's yeah. it's just yeah. it's fucking. So these guys yeah. are ingenious. But if you're just trying to fucking survive, mm -hmm. and like I'm not involved in all that shit, my life's miserable because you guys want to kill each other. Yeah. yeah. So okay. they transferred you back to South to uh, where South Carolina or what? Eventually, I get back to South Carolina after what Leavenworth. Yeah, I go to Oklahoma, then Oklahoma. I go to uh, Atlanta, then Atlanta. I go to Lovejoy, then from Lovejoy, I get fucking transferred to some other little. Listen, and mind you, through this whole process, I almost starved to death twice okay they left me in a fucking room to, to, to sit me somewhere for a second while they went and did something and forgot mm -hmm. about me for like 18 mm -hmm. fucking hours no fucking bullshit dude I was there was no, there was nowhere to get water in the fucking room I was gonna die I was gonna fucking die in that room if somebody wouldn't just open the door to see if somebody was in there yeah yeah so then I met and then I get put into some little shithole fucking um jail in South Carolina where they starve you where I almost fucking starved to death you know, so now I've got PTSD from that shit. <laughs> so, yeah, no, I finally get back out to South Carolina. I don't get back out to South Carolina to see my judge until after January, after traveling from November, getting picked up in, like, the beginning of November. So I don't even get to see my judge until the middle of January. And, and how much time had passed in that, that time period? Like, like from when three you months. Three months. 90 days. Okay. Yeah, it took about 90 days to get me, just to get me in front of the judge. God, bro. Yeah. Yeah. And then you got six months. Yeah, and then they killed my paper. What does that mean? Uh, they released me without federal probation. And I How had, does that happen? Ha, ha. My probation or my my judge said yeah. that I'm not a supervisable. Yeah, some guys a like like I'm a flight risk because they've had listen they've had to extradite me from from south from 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 Nebraska to South Carolina. They've had to extradite me from Florida to South Carolina multiple times, and they're like. It's just costing us too much money to ship you all over the country because you can't stay in one spot. Mm -hmm. And he keeps and, running. And I, and I keep taking off. I keep absconding on probation. But, A, I'm not a career criminal. I, I'm not a drug addict. You know what I mean? I'm not somebody who is in the higher category for re recidivism. Yeah, he's not going to go into a bank with a fucking AK-47. It's not like yeah, it's going right. to come bounce I'm not back a danger to the public. Right. Yeah, I'm not going to, you know, I'm, right. not, I'm not a raper or, or a stabber or nothing like that. Right, right, right. Like, so, yeah. I'm sorry. I was going to say the, a lot of guys, I, I've known guys that have literally like, they'll get five or 10 years. They'll have five years paper. They'll get paper, meaning probation. They'll get out and violate and come back to prison. And then, so 
they'll violate their paper and go in front of the judge and be like, the ju- and the judge will, they used to do this all the time. They don't do it as much anymore. The judge would say, okay, look, you've got, you have three years left on your probation. You know, if I give you a cup, if I release you and you put you back on, on probation, you know, you're going to be okay. And they, they will, you know, you're going to do the right thing. There are, there are guys that will be like, absolutely not. I'm going to violate again. Like they'll get caught smoking pot or doing drugs. Yeah. Gonna, they'll go, I'm going to do drugs again, Your Honor. And they'll look at him and go, well, then you're going to go back to prison. Well, then I'll go back to prison, but I'm going to keep doing it. And the judge will just look at him and go, would you rather I quash your paper? And they'll say, yeah. Okay, well, then you got to go to jail for a year. It's, it's usually one third. So they'll go, you go to jail for a year, and when you get out, you don't have any probation. Okay, I'll go back for a year. Weird. So they'll go back for a year. Oh, listen, I got five years paper. Oh. But the problem is I owe six million. That's rough. Oh. I. He got somebody up his asshole yeah. for five fucking years. She's a nice lady, though. It, she, she, I mean, she is nice. She's just strict. Well, but, most of them are nice. Yeah, yeah. But Given, they, they have to do their job. Right. I think the right. craziest thing about all this is like he had a victimless crime. Yeah. You basically scammed scammers. You scammed the financial institution, the banks. Well, there were some victims in there. Yeah, there's a couple of victims. There there's some, people you, lost, some people lost you, money. You had legitimate victims, like yeah. people, individuals. You were taking it straight from their bank accounts, right? No, he's, these are credit cards. They don't lose any money at all. They do have to make some phone calls, and it's a pain in the ass. But look, if I take your credit card information, and I run up $5,000 on your credit card, and then you get the bill in the next month, and you go, holy shit. Right, you just you, call them, and they, they, that's not that's, me. They, they chalk it up to fraud. Right, they, go, yeah. they, they yeah, you, you file a police report. The so most you didn't, you lose. You, really didn't, you, didn't take, just, you didn't steal anybody's really, hard-earned money. No, no, no. Either. Really, no. I was just, I was just manufacturing financial transaction devices. Right. Yeah, that was his. his that was the actual charge. Was, yeah, was uh, one of the charges. Um, access yeah. to what is it called? Uh, uh, a fraudulent transaction device. Yeah. Mm. A manufacturing of a tra- fraudulent. That's transaction just amazing. Device. Like, Which how they dropped much those more charges. time that you got than it's, John. It's wild, ain't it? Well, I mean, it's amazing. Well, it is. But I was also look. I was high profile. There was a lot of coverage. Yeah. There was. They're not going to let me skate. Yeah. The, the truth is, my look. The truth is, the people involved in my case most likely were like, if it hadn't been high profile, that they, they would have been like, eh, they would have shrugged it off. I would have gotten five or ten years, no yeah. big deal. But boom, a lot of fucking press hammer this guy. Him, they drop. He's supposed to get ten years. They drop the charge because the UPS guy never should have opened the package. But they wouldn't drop the aggravated identity theft because they could prove that. So he got he got two years. Yeah, yeah, I got the mandatory the mandatory minimum for that, which I got because lucky. the guy should not have opened. the <clears throat> He package. never should have opened the package. He yeah. didn't have authorization. He didn't have, he didn't have authorization. That, that, those were sealed sealed packages. Those that's did he, he get in trouble? No, no. But I mean, he helped me out. Yeah, he helped me and hurt me. I guess. Yeah, but I mean, look. He can't. They can't put him on the stand. He's got to either get on the stand and implicate himself. I opened a. I opened a a postal. I opened mm-hmm. a piece of mail. Mm-hmm. I broke a federal law. So most people are probably going to get on the stand and say I I can't answer that. Or he's going to get on the stand and say, Look, when I called the the um, U.S. Post Office, I felt they were instructing me to open the package, mm. and that's why I opened it. That gives him an out. You see what I'm saying? So either and then guess what? Now. That's no good. What was in the package is no good as evidence anyway because right. he's saying you told him to do it. Yeah. So we can't – either way, we can't use it. So his probation – I'm sorry. His um, public defender got the, the U.S. attorney to drop that part. And, say, and, the, and he said, okay, I'll drop that. But he's got to do the two years. And they said – and he you know, came back to him and he was like, fuck, two years is a gift compared to ten. So dig this though. This is something I didn't, I didn't forgot to tell you guys. So when I get back in front of the judge, <clears throat> and um, she's reading, she's reading uh, all of all my charges, and I get my get my paperwork back um, with all my violations on it, like because it's like uh, it was like a, uh, uh, there's different levels of violation, and in the federal system, like everything's structured, like okay, if you fall in this category of like a level one violation, they can only give you X amount of months mm-hmm. for, and then they have to kick you back out again, or if it's a level two, then they can, they can give you X amount of months, or if they if you know what I mean, so. Mm-hmm. I'm going over my paperwork, and I'm reading my, my, my report that my probation officer had left. And she said that uh, she went to my apartment. Uh, I had st- I, she had called me on several occasions, and I didn't answer her calls. So she went to my apartment, and I didn't answer the door, and that the um, landlord had just happened to be there, like, cleaning it out, and she said that I had moved. So she violated me from absconding for probation. Yeah. Not, not had nothing... Those Not two the, dudes that busted me never went and fucking 
told them told told my probation officer nothing. Really? Never told. Never. So yeah, I, knew, I ran. I, I ran for no fucking reason. I could have oh. stayed. I could have stayed in Miami and 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 just try to do the probation thing. But <sighs> I didn't know. And I and you know. I didn't know they weren't going to say anything. That was fucking... Who the fuck knew they weren't going to say anything? God damn. She didn't know. She had no idea that any of that had even happened. And they violated me because I I just absconded. Yeah. That's fucking... Fucking wild, right? I know, dude.